Oh yeah, this is real nice too. <laughs> The bikes I want to talk about is the cheap bikes. Show people you don't gotta spend so much money on a bike. You don't gotta spend six, seven thousand dollars on a bike. Yep. Just to have some for fun. You can spend two thousand to have fun on it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They can find good products for two thousand dollars. They're not all gonna be bad. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot more content on this bike coming soon. Off-road content, street content, top speed, all that. Everything. Bike. Leave a comment below what you want to know about this bike. Make a video on it. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My life. We out here on the X-Pact. I think it's been about, it's been about almost two weeks now and uh, 1,685 miles. A lot of miles. It's holding up good. I'm using it seven to eight hours a day. And uh, it's running straight the whole time. Only thing is, sometimes when I go into second, I start moving, it'll pop itself back into neutral. And I talked to my dealer and said, they said the ECU needs an update. Which could also be the reason why I'm hearing a knocking. It sounds like uh, sounds like the motor wants to um, turn off. It probably needs an update for the fuel injection or something like that. I'm not too familiar with it, but it sounds like it wants to like die kind of. But it makes like a knocking noise. There's only two problems I've really encountered with the bike so far. Everything else, it works great. With my guy out here, he got a 250 Suzuki from Iowa. Might have to race them later. Yeah, the bike's doing great. Definitely recommend this bike. We're going to see how it does off-road eventually, once I get that KP up and running. Great day today. I think it's like 63 and it's windy, a little windy. Makes it feel nice. Look at that Suzuki. What is that? GSX 250R? Damn. Yeah, but the bike's been working good. No problems, really. Just minor problems, but it's still, of course, working great, usable. <laughs> you be gassing it. <laughs> Yeah, but for $2,000, this bike's great. No major complaints about it besides that little knocking and that, uh, and the going into neutral. Other than that, no complaints. Oh yeah, that too. I think it's because the chain is loose. Sometimes when I'm turning, it's like a loud clacking noise. I hope it's not one of the gears, either the motor, from the motor, from the tranny or from the back sprocket. I hope it's not that. But once we tighten up the chain, it still makes that noise, then I guess it is one of the sprockets. Those are the three problems I've encountered. Other than that, no problems. And I put a lot of miles on this bike in a week, two weeks. 
So it's definitely gotten heavily used. You guys have a good one. I'm going to go make some noise. Hey, you too. <laughs> what up? It's been having a lot of fun for many, many years. Yeah? Yeah, hey, drive safe. <laughs> Basically, 1700 miles. Looking good. Oh, this bolt fell off right here. It's not a big deal, though. I don't know where the bolt went. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad though. Three thousand something. That's not bad for a Suzuki. I was thinking like five K, dude. That's only because it was slow. Yeah, but I was still thinking five K because you know, you know, a CRF one hundred and fifty little dirt bike is six K, brand new. It's a lot of money. Yeah, for a dirt bike, a one hundred and fifty, it is six K. This thing is nice though, I like it. How many times have you tightened the chain? No. I don't know, but you still tighten the chain? Yeah. You just loosen up the bolt, that bolt right there. Yep. And then you tighten these up and it'll pull the this wheel whole part will come back. You just tighten them. You tighten say you tighten this three times. You tighten the other side three times. And you keep doing it until you get a little bit of play, but it's tight. I didn't know I didn't know what two fifty how fast two fifty cc is. I didn't know. I I wanna get a I wanna maybe cut the exhaust because they don't sell a new exhaust for it. I might cut the exhaust, get rid of the air filter, and then get that tuned for the fuel injection. I want it to go eighty. If it hits eighty I'll be happy. Yeah. <laughs> You never let anyone else ride it? Nobody knows, nobody knows how. Yeah, that's facts. Alright, we're just gonna go around this way then. Uh, around. We'll go around and then out. Follow me. Oh, your shifter's right there. Damn, this thing feels weird, dude. This thing feels weird. It's like hunched over. Oh, I like this mirror, though. Oh, yeah, this thing feels nice, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to where the foot pegs are though. It's a little weird with the foot pegs. I can't tell where they're at. We're gonna take a right. You're good. You can start in any gear. This thing is cool, dude. 
I like it. close that Oi how I feel about this. This thing is fast. This thing is fast. Yeah guys, I'm liking the X, I'm just, uh, I'm a little out of it right now. I've never been on a bike like this. It feels so nice. I'm a little out of it though. But I'm liking the X-Fact, I'm gonna see how he feels after this. I'm gonna get his thoughts on it. We're gonna see once we park. Damn that neutral. <laughs> I think he's liking it. <laughs> oh, where the hell is that gear shift? <laughs> <laughs> he stole it. like a little launch from this stop sign. Yeah. Only thing is, shift a little early. Shift a little early. Yeah. So like when it gets a seven, shift. You see it? When it gets a seven, shift. The Chinese motors, they don't like high RPMs. They don't like them. We're gonna take a right. This thing is quiet. 
quiet as hell. Quiet and fast. I like it. I might need to get one of these. I'm liking it. Let's take a left. He needs to get a little bit better with the clutch work. Now that he's on my bike, I can see. That dust. It's wrecked. It's like perfect for helmets. It's perfect. What do you think of it though? I like it. Yeah? But the brake is... Yeah, the back brake. That's the only thing, right? Like, well, I want the brake. It's extra, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's good though, right? The, yeah, it's two thousand dollars. I gotta get used to the truck. Yeah, that used to the clutch. There's nothing else. The clutch. Two thousand dollars. Crazy, right? Yeah, it is. Such a good bike for two thousand dollars. That bike though, that bike is something else. <laughs> that bike is great, dude. Like that thing goes, dude. You give it a little gap. Oh my god, it goes. It's so quiet too. It just moves. Yeah, I, I mean, I want to get a lot of muscle on it, but I mean, it's not. It's nice though, cause like people won't hear you. But you kind of want people to hear you, but you yeah. don't at the same time, you know what I'm saying? You want people to hear you, like cars, when they're yep. pulling out and stuff, but at the same time, you don't want a lot of attraction towards you, you know yep. what I'm saying? That's the thing. But I like it, though. I couldn't find where the foot pegs were and the shifter. I kept, like, putting my foot way farther ahead because I'm used to my shift. Yep. So I was putting it. You were probably putting yours back, and I was putting mine yeah, ahead. Yeah, I was putting mine back. Exactly yeah. <laughs> was mine was, like, up here, dude. I was putting my foot up here, right here somewhere, and I was like, where's the shifter? <laughs> It's so short too, that's why I was like, oh. I like it though. But then I was like, oh, boy. That's not good. Yeah, I've done that so many times, dude. It's so annoying. <laughs> I've done that and so I, many times. I knocked times. it out of the track. So yeah. yeah. Like just now. I've done it too. You want your key or you want to leave it in here? I'll leave it in. No. All right. Yours got weights? Nah, no, it doesn't. Because you got scope. Yeah. yeah. But my other bike didn't have weights either. My other bike don't got weights either. It's a smooth ride, eh? So smooth, yeah. So smooth. Yeah? It's a nice, you know, nice clean Yeah. Air. Mine's air cooled. Mine don't got no type of cooling. Really? Yeah, it's cooled by air. That's why the motor has these fins in there. So as you go, it gets air inside the cylinder. It's like, um, they make a Hawk. It's a thousand dollars. A thousand five hundred or something like that. And it's like this bike. But it's way cheaper. Like everything mostly is the same, just different quality of the parts. The dash, everything looks the same. It's just the quality of the parts is different. It's made by Lafon, which is one of the top brands in China you can buy from. Hawk is like one of the cheapest. I'm taking off road. I'm gonna do jumps with it. I'm gonna do hill climbing. I'm gonna see how it does. If it breaks, I'm gonna tell the people. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell them. Yeah, I'm gonna tell them how it is. You know what I'm saying? Two thousand dollars. My other bike was made for the street, and I did everything. I hit jumps. I took off roading. I took in the snow. Still yeah. holding up, bought from TX Power Sports. It's in Texas. It's a power sports dealer in Texas. They ship it to your door. They're, of course, a Lafon authorized dealer. Second one, the Mini, I bought it from Motor Pro, Amazon. This one is from Power Sports Max. That's the biggest bike I've ridden 250, 200. So, this is the biggest bike now. Now, if someone asks me, it's a 250. The biggest bike I've ridden is this bike. What is that? Suzuki GXR, GSX. You say it's Jixer. 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 I mean, it's a, it's a big Oh, popular. that's what they call a Jixer? This? Yeah. GSX. Yeah, Jixer, yeah. Jixer. When well, someone says, oh, I have a Jixer. They're talking Jixer. about the Suzuki yeah. GSX. And it's different models, different. Different, yeah, yeah. The bikes I want to talk about is the cheap bikes. Show people you don't got to spend so much money on a bike. You don't got to spend six, seven thousand dollars on a bike. Yep. Just to have some for fun. You can spend two thousand to have fun on it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can find good products for two thousand dollars. They're not all going to be bad, you know what I'm saying? Of course, some of them are going to be crap, crap, but sure. not all of them. That's what I try to do. I try to show people not everything from China is going to be bad. There's yep. some good ones. You just got to find the right one, you know what I'm saying? This is a good bike for $2,000. You heard him. He likes it. The only thing he doesn't like is the back brake, which I don't like either. just needs to be tightened a little bit. When I ordered it, I didn't even know it came with drums. I thought it was disc in the back. His bike is real smooth. I don't know how I feel about the stance. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't. It's a good bike, though. For $2,000, this bike is great. Can't beat it. You don't got to spend a lot of money to have a good bike. To buy a good dual sport, you're going to spend $6,000 plus. Spend $2,000, you get this. 
It's pretty good, and we're gonna test it off road. We're gonna see if it's a real dual sport, like they say. I'll do the beep. Where? Uh, you see that telephone pole past the sign? Uh, I'll do the beep. Ready? <laughs> I whip it! I stayed in second! <laughs> I tried shifting to third and it was still in second! <laughs> Yo, I tried... I tried shifting... I tried shifting from second to third, it stayed in second! What the fuck? I shift to third, right? It was still in second. I was like revving it out. I was like, damn. useful on this bike guys is hazards it doesn't have hazards the kp mini does i don't know why this one didn't come with hazards it is a dual sport so it's meant for the road and off-road so why wouldn't they include hazards i don't know why Great bike for the price, that's all I gotta say. More content coming soon. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. A lot more content on this bike coming soon. Off-road content, street content, top speed, all that. Everything. Know about this bike. Leave a comment below what you want to know about this bike. Make a video on it.